deal, same spiel. We're at the the Philly venue. Where what's this what's this venue called? Electric Factory. We're at the Electric Factory in Philadelphia. Uh oh. oh. Hey what's up guys? Bryce from Lifehouse. We're hanging in Philly. Just getting acquainted with uh, Alyssa. We're having an awesome time on tour. Yeah. Hope you get to check this out. It's awesome touring with these guys because I tour with a bunch of guys and I see them act acting all wacky on stage. So when I get on stage, I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to be wacky too. So. <laughs> She's wacky. We're all wacky. <laughs> Hey guys, Liz here, and we just finished our set, and I think it was like the best, um, the best set we we've done thus far. I felt really good. I had a little bit too much fun up there, and um, I, I'm I'm coming out of my shell with every show. It's awesome. I'm growing on that stage, and um, yeah, still got a lot to learn, but um, I'm excited to learn it. Woo! Lisa Bernal back behind the scenes, about to get interviewed by some lovely ladies. Yay. <laughs> so, congratulations on your tour. We were so excited to be here. On, uh, what day is this? How many spots have you hit so far? This is the third or fourth okay. show. So it's I, fourth beginning. show. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we still got a ways to go. Great. Well, congratulations again. Yeah. Um, so, like I said before, um, I read you were discovered by Pharrell Williams um, on YouTube. So tell us a little bit about how that came about. Yeah, um, I was on YouTube about like three and a half years before I got discovered. Um, I didn't even start off by posting singing videos on YouTube. I didn't realize there was that wide variety of, of YouTube videos. So I noticed people were singing like their favorite covers. And um, so I, I tried it, and after a while, I started like, gaining this fan base. So I thought it was really cool, and it, it boosted up my confidence because I was always like the shyest girl ever. And I'm still a little shy, but um, I mean, three years ago, I hated singing in public, and now I don't, I don't mind it. I love it. So what's it like touring with Chris Allen and Lifehouse, two uh, pretty big names in the industry? Yeah, it's unreal. Still, I mean, I remember. Um, my, my cousin used to have a bunch of like live house CDs laying around, and my my best friend and I um, we would jam out on the guitar to you and I both. And and Chris Allen, like I've been following him since Idol. So your new EP album was just released on the 12th. Um, what's the response been like? Have you have you received you know good response, bad response? What's it like? Um, a good response so far. I mean, I'll I'll be browsing a little bit on YouTube and I'll I'll read a comment here and there saying, you know, they love my EP, and I even saw a couple of people singing um, the duet that's on the EP tonight, so that I, I was singing really Cali, Cali, Cali. <laughs> um, I actually first heard it today because um, I've just been out of work for a while, but I love it. Absolutely love it. I said to her, I said, I hope she does Cali, Cali, Cali <laughs> next, and she did, and I was so excited, so awesome. congratulations Thank with you. that one. Um, so what's your writing to it and, and what and what inspires your lyrics? Um, life experiences. So, um, I'd say like most of the songs on the album are um, a reflection of myself and experiences I've had in life Great. in the past. So what's the overall concept of your album? What do you want to portray to your fans? You know, what kind of music you produce? Uh, like the genre, the style. Yeah. Um, well, it's it's a, it's a pop album, but there's definitely some like funk and soul in there, and it's um it's a naive album. I mean, most of these songs, again, they're their personal experience, and um, yeah, I think like when people hear it, they they can like hear that I'm I'm new to this and I'm experiencing things for the first time in my life. So. Great. So if you could choose. So, do you have any pre-rituals before you go on stage? I know you said you're a little bit stage fright or nervous, as anyone would be. Um, do you have anything that you do beforehand, a chant, a dance, anything? <laughs> I'm still kind of learning, I mean, about, um, like, rituals and stuff, but um, I noticed, like, I was jamming a little bit on a spare guitar, and that, that calmed me down a little bit. And um, 
those halls, the freezers, the cough drops, those are delicious those and they, they soothe yes. your voice. So. They're good for singers, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So a few more questions. I don't want to keep you held up. Okay. Um, being so young in the music industry, um, what pressures have you faced so far? Um, just, I mean, myself as a person, I'm very, um, like, soft-spoken and I don't say much. But um, I feel like, I mean, other artists out there are so, like, like alive and, and crazy and loud. And it, it just seems that way for some reason. And for a while, it, it kind of, like, um, kind of scared me. I'm just like, I was just like, what if it doesn't, my personality doesn't cut it? But, I mean, I'm, I'm getting to know myself as a, like, as a person. And my, my true self is coming out. And, I mean, that's who I am. And, um, I mean... Every time I step on the stage, I, it's like, I don't know, it's cool. I get to show who I am on stage, and I guess I mean, that's it. Did that make sense? That made sense. All right, cool. And <laughs> so where do you see yourself in five to ten years from now, other than older? Um, probably a world tour. Um, wait, is that too soon, a world tour in five no, years? No, five years. No? Okay, I'll do it. Um... Grammys, winning Grammys, um, what else? Maybe, um, like, side things, like maybe opening, like, a coffee shop or, like, a little clothing, you know, clothing line or something. I love vintage jewelry. I'd like to do something Me like too. that. I just awesome. <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa rocks. <laughs> Alyssa rocks oh, so hard. Yeah, I'm recording. You guys don't know. Behind the scenes, man. What's up, ladies? Hi. Hi. Very lovely Alyssa interview, rocks. ladies. Alyssa does rock. Yeah. Alyssa. Have you, we need to do one for in the bus. I don't think I took it around. Oh, dude. We, you. <laughs> All right. Peace out, Alyssa Bernal.